This is another Marvel Legends UK figure review and today we're going to be reviewing Marvel's Beast. Here we go. So here he is, out of packaging, X-Men's Beast. Um, I'm in two minds. Um, the figure, after having a bit of a play around with it, has completely thrown me uh, off. I love my Toy Biz Beast, but this in hand, apart from the head, has brought seem to have nailed the articulation and brought to life a really, really fantastic character. Comes with a couple of accessories. We've got the um, Caliban head, which uh, I'm looking forward to putting this guy together. I'm an X-Man uh, enthusiast. Uh, I do remember the um, story in the comics. And he did have a brief appearance in the animated series as well, when he was turned into one of the four horsemen of Apocalypse. The details actually incredible. As you can see, nice yellow eyes, dark shading around the eyes itself. The mouth is brilliant. What we're finding is as well with the um, with this one, this head sculpt and the kingpin, they're actually doing the mouth pieces separately. So this is like a glued in piece. I think that's just to capture more detail. Um, as you can see inside the mouth, you can see the tongue. The teeth are painted perfectly. Um, overall, fantastic head sculpt, and I'm really looking forward to putting this figure together. Um, pop that to one side. Again, what we've got here, we've got some uh, beastly paws. It's really nice. Uh, sculpted nails there. They've captured the lightness of the, the actual hands on the original figure really well. Um, they have painted the hinge as well, which you can see here. Only downfall to that is it's not painted all the way around, so you're going to have a bit of a break up, and I think I've even got a bit of chip in there, uh, which has been apparent with the Caliban pieces from what I can gather, the, the paint's peeling off when it's being moved around. On this figure, it's quite noticeable. On the pearlescent white, maybe not so much. Uh, we get another hand. This one was actually attached to the figure. The This hand here was the one that came separate. This one was already attached to the beast. But again, as you can see, the camera zooms in. We've got some paint chippage already. So it might be a case of just going over that with the uh, airbrush just to tidy it up a little bit. But all in all, still a nice beastly paw. Um, for applying the paint details to the figure into the hand, I'm surprised they've not done anything with the nails. The nails are, are just a generic blue, but they maybe could have put some shading on there as well. As you can see, all in all, really good sculpt. Down to the figure. Um, like I said, um, I wasn't sure at first, seeing this in person at London Comic Con when they revealed it in the in the uh, Perspect cases. It looked good, but I was always in two minds as to whether or not he would take my uh, Toy Biz place. Let me just straighten him out a little bit. He is a really bulky figure. As you can see, stands up reasonably well. Um, I mean, I've seen some of the reviews of people trying to stand him up fully in terms of uh, upright. He's a beast. He's not a big foot. He does walk with a bit of a, a slouch. Uh, and when he runs, he tends to run on uh, more or less all fours. Uh, one thing I have noticed as well, having a bit of a play around or pause with the figure, the head. Uh, for whatever reason, it seems to be a little bit loose. I had this similar issue with Gambit. Um, check out the last review we did, where the actual head itself was a little bit loose. So I have seen a couple of fixes online where people are using plumber's tape, just one little layer around the ball joint, rather than using the hot glue, uh, and then popping the head on, firms it straight up. But looking at the actual figure itself, here he is. Screaming, snarling beast. Um, Face sculpt is absolutely fantastic. I've got no qualms with the face sculpt whatsoever, uh, but it would have been nice to get a relaxed version of Beast as well. Uh, Beast, as we know, has a mutant ability of not just looking like a beast, but he's super agile. And Hasbro seem to have captured the vast majority of the movement as to what they could with the actual figure itself. Give us some amazing butterfly joints, as you can see. There's phenomenal range of movement in that so you can have him launching really decent and um, we've got the ab crunch and what they have actually done with this figure as well which they haven't done with any other figures as far as i'm aware is they've included a 
ball joint in the worst word, sorry, in the abdomen area. So usually you get them on the female figures, uh, but we've got one in the beast. It wasn't actually one included on the Sasquatch, which I thought they may have used the same body mold, but they've not done. Um, but as you can see, out and out shading through the uh, fur on the back, on the shoulders again. They've paid so much attention to the rest of the figure, just missed out the hinges, the back of the neck as well. It's not a big issue, but it's one of the you just start to pick holes in stuff, don't you? When you uh, when you pick it up, as you can see, you've got a bit of a blue comic tilt all the way through it, which was um, tint, sorry, which was like on the previous figure. Nice big flat paw. This one came as the accessory in the box. Obviously, helping him out to stand on his hands. Again, they've reintroduced the toe articulation to the figures. Uh, I think this is the first time Hasbro have done it, uh, but we did have it on the Toby's vision as Toby version of, of Beast. Um, you just know that over time these are going to loosen up, so it might be worth grabbing um, some of the, that that pledge uh, floor cleaner just to uh, aid your figure from standing after a few pauses. Um, I've got a feeling that it's going to become very very loose. Uh, in fact, I can feel it already loosening up just after a couple of moments. Nice for them to include it, but um, I'm not a big fan of the tall articulation. But again, with this character, it's all about agility. Now, one thing I have seen online is is what they're calling a the secret articulation, um, which I don't know if it was done deliberately or if it was um, done completely by accident. Beast being beast, very agile. What we found is, or what somebody, I can't remember the original source, maybe Toy Shears, whereas if you hold two legs together, I'll do this very slowly so you can see it, and then pull down, you can see, you just see it, do it again, up, down. Now it might not seem a lot, but in terms of range of mo movement for the actual figure, you can get his legs a lot wider by utilizing that little bit of space, which, if it has been done, uh, if it has been done by Hasbro uh, deliberately, well done. That is absolutely fantastic, giving us the option for additional articulation. So as you can see, without the pop, the leg goes about that far. And if we bring it back down again, it goes a little bit further, but which means that obviously with a few twists, we can get Beast foot more or less right up to his head. Um, so that is a really fantastic additional extra if they have managed to do that um, on purpose. If it was done accidentally then, you know, brilliant. If it was done on purpose, absolutely well thought of, well thought, fantastic. The actual figure itself, I'm really impressed with. The paint job is, is really good. Um, what I'm going to do now is a side-by-side -side comparison to a couple of other beasts that I've got. So he's side by side comparison with the Toby's Beast. This beast has held its place on my shelf for a number of years um, and I absolutely love it. Uh, the one thing that was brilliant about this beast is obviously all the articulation, toes, fingers, we had the open stance, the, the body didn't move which was uh, quite surprising. You know, the waist joint. Uh, I've actually done the, uh, the pledge um, trick with him so just to stiffen him up them weird T joints in the hips but the one thing that I love is the actual face sculpt for me that's a very beast beastly face sculpt can be relaxed or can be absolutely frightening and um, I think Hasbro missed a trick uh, with this if they didn't include an alternative head maybe give us uh, an alter articulated jaw um, it's just a shame that I'm, I, I am now thinking about replacing this beast on my actual shelf. And the fact that the blues are different, it's not like I can even do a, a head swap. I might try it, I don't know. I don't know, even know if it is on a ball joint or if it's on one of those uh, hinge joints. It looks like it's on a hinge joint. But it would be quite nice if I could colour match and then put this beast head onto this body as I think... It's more or less a decent size. Let's have a screen off. Nice little beast screen off. Um, so yeah, that was the uh, Tweebers beast. And then what we've got here is the other Hasbro beast, uh, which is the pre-transformed beast before he goes into uh, feral mode, before his e evolution kicked in. 
Um, this set actually got it got panned really. Um, not a lot of people liked it, especially the beast where it was missing certain articulation. You know, his his wrists don't move. His yeah, the wrists don't move. The arms don't move. We have got a bicep um, swivel. You know, fantastic figure. I absolutely loved the set myself, but um, it's just a shame that it was missing some of the articulation. Big, beastly feet. Again, on the hinge joint, very basic. But in terms of articulation, very poor, especially for an agile character. I think that was the biggest gripe uh, when it came to that figure. As you can see, in terms of height, um, this beast he does stand up straight. If we try. So again, around about the same size, um, same character, started off here, evolved into this and then he had a further uh, evolution as well into a more cat ape-like character. So all in all that's my uh, review of the beast figure, I'm going to um, have a, a big debate whether or not this one stays in my uh, display X-Men display or this guy might put this guy up for sale yet I'm not too sure um, it's close I do like the body better on this one but this is the the killer for me the head I do like a softer approach beast um, if we can get the head off this one and put it onto this as an alternative swap and then color match it fantastic if not I don't know maybe just have to maybe a dark dark beast um, so that's my review of the beast figure thanks for checking out the channel uh, i know i've witted on a little bit uh, we are still quite new to reviewing uh, if you liked it please give us a thumbs up uh, like share subscribe and um, if you're on instagram find us over at marvel legends uk underscore or on the facebook community group at marvel legends uk thank you very much next up we'll be reviewing jubilee take care bye